afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Southern Copper Chronicles. I'm Aaron. Today we're going to be doing the fourth video in our Distilling 101 series. We're going to be talking about SG, Specific Gravity. In my opinion, specific gravity is the most important part of making a match or a wash. In the overall scheme of distilling, your mash or your wash is the most important part of making a good spirit. You can have the most amazing, you know, still money can buy, and you're still only going to get a product as good as what you start with, which is your mash. <clears throat> so, SG. What is SG? What is specific gravity? Very simply put, specific gravity is nothing but a measure of the amount of sugar that you have in your liquid. Why do we use it and why, why is it important? Well, different yeast strains, and we're going to go into that in some later videos. Different yeast strains will only convert so much sugar into alcohol. So if you have a yeast that you're using that will only go up to a 10% alcohol by volume and you put too much sugar in it, well, you're going to have leftover sugar in your mash. If you have too little sugar, your yeast is going to convert all the sugar, but you're only going to have a fraction of the potential alcohol in your wash that you would have so you know you're going to be spending all that time and money either to have sugar that's not been converted or to have too little uh, your your yeast converts all the sugar and so now you're you know spending pretty much the same amount of time but you're getting a fraction of the potential alcohol that you could have gotten by making sure you have a little bit more sugar you know now remember sugar can come from different places you can use actual sugar brown sugar raw sugar granulated sugar or you can convert your starches into sugar uh, using malts and, and amylose enzymes which again we're going to go into later but regardless of where your sugar comes from you still have to measure how much sugar you have at the beginning of your fermentation process. And this is done with a very simple and expensive piece of equipment called a triple scale hydrometer. All right? This is one I got off of Amazon, or I think around $13. Uh, side note, these are glass. Don't order one. Go ahead and order two. I order three at a time. But I promise you, Sometime when you're first at the beginning process where you get your readings, you're going to drop this thing and you're going to break it. And if you have to wait to order one, you know, just adds more time. Go ahead and order two. I promise. So what, what exactly is this, you know, how does this work? Well, I've got a little experiment set up here so I can show you guys. All right. I'm going to show you how this works. So triple scale, it measures three things. It measures your SG, your specific gravity. It measures your potential alcohol by volume. And it also has another reading on here that says bricks. We're not going to worry about the bricks right now. Uh, it does give you basically the same reading, but in, in our, our hobby, SG is... Uh, the reading we go on the most so you know it's it's just the the one I'm going to teach y'all and it's the one you'll have more people reference than anything else so I'm gonna move the camera here up a little bit closer all right So I have two cylinders here set up 
And if you order a kit, a cylinder is going to come with your hydrometer. Don't try and do this in a quart jar because it's not tall enough. Make sure and get a cylinder made for a hydrometer. In this cylinder, nothing but water. In this cylinder, I have a simple sugar wash set up. Use about two pounds per gallon, give or take, when I made this up. So in, in the water, I'm going to let this float. And I think you guys can see that in the water, I'm floating at 1.000. Now, if you look across at your potential alcohol by volume, 1.000 says 0%. Obviously, being pure water, there is nothing in this that can be converted to alcohol. That 1.000, that is what we're shooting for when we're making a liquid to distill, right? We want all our sugar to be 100% converted into alcohol by our yeast. Now, at approximately two pounds per gallon of just regular white granulated sugar, I'm sitting right about point or one point zero eight zero. So we look over here on our hydrometer, one point zero eight zero. It's sitting just above ten percent. So maybe ten and a half, maybe around eleven percent alcohol by volume. That is potential alcohol by volume. So if we use a yeast that will convert 100% of this sugar into alcohol, we're going to be sitting in the neighborhood of 10 to 11% alcohol by volume in our wash. Over the years I've been doing this, I've found that anytime I want to get the most flavor, especially if I'm using grains, I, I really want my, my wash to stay a mass starting out to be somewhere between 0.08 to 0 0.09 uh, so somewhere in the 10 to about 12 percent alcohol by volume range that's going to give you the most flavor um, going with a uh, higher sugar content initially yes yeah, so you'll get more yield after you distill it but you also have to use a more aggressive yeast. And in general, in my experience, the higher, the more aggressive yeast you use and the higher your, uh, your sugar content, the higher your starting alcohol by volume, the higher your SG, generally the, the less flavor that carries through. So if you're going for a vodka, a gin, um, you know, something that is a very neutral flavor, hey, by all means, go ahead and start with a higher specific gravity. Uh, you know, use more sugar. If you're trying to carry over flavors from a grain, uh, then you know you're going to want to stay somewhere in that 10 to 12 percent range. Just kind of what I've what I found has worked best for me uh, over the past 20 years. So, as you saw with our sugar. We started somewhere up around, you know, 1.80. As our yeast converts the sugar to alcohol, our gauge drops until we get down below one. That way we know there is no sugar left in our mash. So that's what we're shooting for. We want to start somewhere in this area and end up down here. I don't know if I can simplify it much more than that. Um, the only other caveat I have to add to this is, especially when you're first making your mash and trying to see how much alcohol you have, this hydrometer is calibrated at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we're measuring 
our mash, say we just got through melting our sugar or just got through with our grain conversion and it's 120 or 30 degrees, I'm not going to get a correct reading on my hydrometer because it's designed to work at 60 degrees. There is a mathematic equation that you can plug in, do the math, that will give you the correct reading on your hydrometer. However, I really like keeping things simple. So go to Google, type in specific gravity to temperature uh, correction. It's gonna come up with five or six different calculators and they're all gonna say, what is your starting SG from your hydrometer? What is your temperature? Little kitchen, kitchen thermometer like I have right here. Take take the reading, take your temperature, plug that in, and it's going to say, "Hey, your corrected temperature is X." Usually, it's it's generally not too awful much unless you're over a hundred degrees, but it can throw your reading off a whole lot. Again, trying to be efficient, not waste our time, not waste our money. We want to make sure that our sugar content is matched exactly to the yeast we're using and the type of product we're trying to produce. So that is SG or specific gravity, why we use it, how we use it, all in a nutshell. Try to break it down simple. Uh, we're going to be starting here in a couple days making our very first uh, mash for the series. <laughs> Showing you guys how to do that. If anything that I said here wasn't clear, hey, drop me a note in the comments or on our Facebook page at Southern Copper Chronicles. Let me know. I'll clarify it. If you have another video that you would like me to uh, do, something you don't understand, hey, let me know. I want ideas. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It's going to let me do some uh, better videos, uh, some builds. Um, the more people I have like and subscribe, keep everything going. And other than that, again, thank you very much for watching. And shine off, fellas.